What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Dang and Europa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we kind of got to the trial break, so I'll be curious to see what happens as the trial has blown open. So I am, like I said, extremely curious. I'm extremely excited. And yeah, I can't wait to see again where this unfolds. Uh, save in this trial investigation. Let's get on with the show. First off, Monokuma in the Cubs Theater, though. Now then. <laughs> it seems that the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the results. Who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Wait a second. What result? The voting time hasn't happened yet. Uh, yes, it has. Do you remember Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember Monotaro. Oh man, you're right, silly me. How forgetful. Wow. Did you expect you or did I expect you to get all get so worked up over such a small lie? You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. Wait a second. We don't even know the culprit yet. Uh, yeah, who killed Rantaro? Wrong person, Montaro. That was chapter one. That was chapter one's case. How can I be so forgetful? I know, right? Rantaro was chapter one. That was so long ago, Montaro. I can't believe you. Another shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. Yep. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. <laughs> After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow, what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like this one. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? Exactly, Samugi. I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're one to talk. <laughs> Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Uyoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cubs pack. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cubs pack? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have been someone who knew who who had each pad. Kokichi. It's you! That would be Kokichi. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to people who aren't here! <laughs> Now everyone can watch their motive video! So, you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. You're right. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Well, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, 
He said that he would show me my murder video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. I believe that. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. That's not the truth. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Ooh. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is. Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you'd better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? Nope, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm, I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? Or not lie? She's not lying! Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko's not wrong! Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during night time. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point that will change fate of this case. Split decision! As I said, I would believe in Kaido. And that means believing in Maki too. And that means... We have to do it. I need us all on the same page. We have to change this. Where the or change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. Split decision. Oh no, not split decision. Okay. Maki alone. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. 
Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place. I don't understand. How does Maki, or how does that mean Maki met no one, or met no one that night? Or does it mean Maki met no one that night? If she met with no one, that she did, certainly did not meet with Ryoma. That's true. That's true. That's true. My bad. My bad. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night. Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! I can't say those I can't say the two of them or I can't say the two of them met now. That's an obvious lie. How can I convince them that Maki met up with someone? Oh, 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 oh. I have to What a load of crap. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! I see do- What a load of crap! This is so weird to have to lie. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't- See with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Oh no, okay. Why'd you wait until now to reveal that you saw Ryoma? There's no reason to keep that information unless you're lying to us, that oh, is. No. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie. Do I have to lie about Maki being alone to the counterpoint? I can't say the two of them met. Now, that would be an obvious lie. I met with Ryoma the previous night. A load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? We did not see them together. Surely they would have come forward already. If no one could prove this meeting took place. Aha! Perjury. I might not be able to prove they met. But I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. <laughs> what? Huh? Kaito, you're my sidekick now, buddy. Apparently, we're just gonna lie about this. Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. What the hell? Talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. This is so crazy! But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. <laughs> it feels so weird to lie! 
Now, now. So we don't know if Maggie was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. Agreed, Kaido. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonta will believe, friends. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Belief shall set you free. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Alright, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. That's still not true. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? Yeah. So everyone is culprit again? Yep. So we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tomb? Well, the gym is locked at night time, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. Then when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? Yeah, that's a big question. When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it could have could not have been before nighttime. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? Dick Cheese? But that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title for a guard. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your argument. Wait, what? Disagreement? What? A disagreement? Oh. You mean you're split down the middle again? That's better. Then the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Yippee! We've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, Monica has got the X. That whole crazy thing again? Yep. Seems like our opinions are split on this matter. But if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If we can get them to see the truth now, my lie will would have been. Uh, if we can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. The fact that we have to lie is still like, what the heck?
So how is this split? When did the body get put in the prana, uh, the prana tank? Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Kaito, rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. Oh wait, no. Nope. If not possible, you simply missed the culprit. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito, rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I've got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off-limits. Maki! Entering the pool at night's what's off-limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko! It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too! Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Are we... When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together. Ryoma's body was put in the tank at night time. We have to defend this point. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Angie! I was in front of the gym with the others, before the announcement. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? No, no, no! Crap. Is it not possible you simply missed Kimiko? We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter. Kaito. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha t I've got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next Maki! Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we Tenko? It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. This is our answer. For whole counter. Not enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Yep. The curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. Yeah. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window... The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? No, I don't think that method's possible because the ladder doesn't reach the window. Wasn't that like a thing? That's it. Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. Yeah, okay, cool. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. 
Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the poolside, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Then you couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gonta used his TARD strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. Gentlemen not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Got it, Musclehead? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Do you have the answer then? But of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with the truth. Uh, I, uh, actually don't know that yet. What? <laughs> the culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Yeah. Seriously? Serves you right. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. Dudes just need to shut up and take their licks. What are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. Uh, I know. I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I? Am I a no good as a detective? I, I can't do this. I, I don't can't... think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out... We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Yeah. Killed? Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> That's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, culprit is someone in this room. Yup. That's important to remember. It's not as everyone here wants to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. Exactly. I had a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was when Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. Himikawa under the bridge? If we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes. It is much too soon to quit. This trial has only begun. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. <laughs> Non-stop debating. Okay. Is the sink going to be on there? It's not. First, let's establish the crime scene. Wasn't it the dorm room? No. Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. Yes. There's nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible. We should consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. Even if you use magic, there's no other way. Well, it must be the pool then. Now that little turd drowned in the toilet. Shut your mouth, you noisy sow. sow! What? The cause of Ryoma's death. Ryoma drowned in water. The pool seems the obvious answer, but I have my doubts. First, let's establish the crime scene. Wasn't it the dorm room? 
Now it's time for the pool rules no to do it. In his room when he got but the cause of death was drowning. That's not what I want to argue. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible. We should consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. I just, I really just, I really just missed right in between both of them. Oh my god. That's wrong. The pool could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at night. Exactly. And the pool rules would have gone off because now he's not a dead, dead corpse. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. Yep, a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. <laughs> oh, Mana Fanny. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. <laughs> Being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. Ah! Yo! Okay, Monosuke, you might have just gone up a tier. Literally on that quote fucking alone. Let's go. Yes. Screw the freaking Patriots. Let them be at the bottom. Um, as long as the Jets don't have the 62nd man, we'll let them rise. And only Joy will understand that, and I get it, but I don't care. It's fine. It's anyway, fine. We can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. Where was the sink, the sink, the sink, the sink, the sink. That's what I want to go. The scratch sink. That's what I was thinking initially. Boom! Brain is active tonight. Let's go. There were distinct scratch marks on it. This is what I. This is where I expected him to drown. Is right here. Somebody like shoved his head. Somebody pushed his head down and made sure that he was gonna drown in here. I believe those scratches were caused by the handcuffs. This is it. The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Oh yeah, sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Yeah, the sink. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lap. Yup. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are, are consistent. consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yep. Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Yup. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Saying disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. That crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. The only thing I can think of right now is that the tennis line. And I just don't know how they would have set up the tennis line as like a zip line to plonk him into the pole. Stop! Please stop! Because the uh, marks on the window are like um, very consistent with like dragging the cable line, right? And it's a 50 foot cable line, so it can definitely go in between. That's at least where my brain's going because the same mark was consistent on both windows. But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? That's a good question. He could have used Shikuchi method to get away, unless someone ambushed him. It's 
possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure now that he's not but bone. True. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Rioma by. Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to Lulomi. I'm just talking to myself. Really? When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Yeah! Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. <laughs> so we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap. Right? Oh my god. That is a is that a Food Wars reference? That's not a Food Wars reference, is it? Because okay, the reason why I'm asking is I don't know if Food Wars was out at the time, but if it was, there's a scene in like the first couple episodes of Food Wars that <laughs> I really I really hope that's a Food Wars reference. I really do. 